Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to taste the bootstrap button color rainbow. The button primary class is the main color you'll use in your app. It is useful for highlighting actions you want the user to take. Replace bootstrap's button default with button primary in your button. Note that this button will need the button and button block classes. We want to replace bootstrap's button default class with button primary. Okay, well Right now we've got our like button, which is right here, and it's just blank. And so what do we want to do? We are fi First we find a our cat, and then we find our button. And so cl we've got button, button default, and button block. And we want to change this to button primary. And then it's blue. So I think blue is the default one. Um, yeah, I think bootstrap button. If you go to the bootstrap buttons, you can see you've got all these different options, right? So you've got uh, secondary, success, danger, warning, info. So we could play around with these a lot. Um, success. Then it's green. Um, warning. Then it's yellow. Danger, I think, is red. And there's secondary. And so, yeah, you can change this around, and it always has this sort of uh, thing. But for, he for here, we want to do primary because that's what the test says. And if we run the test, it should pass. Um, you'll notice it says that it needs to maintain the button block. So if you're having a problem with this, perhaps uh, you accidentally deleted the block. And so if it's not a block button, uh, your uh, tests aren't going to pass. Um, it should help, and it should still have the button class. I think if you remove the button class, it completely breaks it. Oh, well, it still has kind of a look to it. So yeah, it's important to have the button in there to uh, give it uh, yeah, if you lose this, then the tests probably won't pass. So yeah, you want to have button, button primary, and button block. And it doesn't matter what order they in. They, they could be in like this, and we'll see that would pass the tests, and the button still looks fine. And even if you had the button at the end, and you had some n uh, unnecessary spaces in there, it would still work. Uh, but I always do it like this with the button at the front, and button dash block, because uh, I kind of see it as first you're making a button and then you're making you're setting it to block and then this sort of sets the color and the way it looks. So this would be the ideal way to uh, solve the solution. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.